Good afternoon on what is a bright, warm and sunny day. It's Friday the 15th of April. Yes, it's Good Friday and some parcels. Nice hot cup of tea. And some things to one box. So let's get to it. I'm going to carry on with this one. Give it a bit of space. Now, I've already been into this one. And what I have pulled out, out of the way, is this. This is Golden Heroes, uh, the role playing superhero role playing game, the role playing game of superheroes, the British role playing as uh, a superhero role playing game, published by Games Workshop in 1984. And I've already done an unboxing of this and some of its content. So I've looked at the supervisor's kit and then. Uh, both of the actual rule books, so supervisors book, players book. But the next thing I'm going to look at is the first of the two scenarios that were published for the game. So, uh, which is Legacy of Eagles, and first thing you've got to notice is that fantastic cover by Brian Bolland. I'm pretty much sure it's Brian Bolland. Um, so look, uh, front cover Brian Bolland. Yes. So. Um, so look what we've got on the back, and this would have been published at some look uh, 1985. So, Legacy of Eagles, Eagles is a scenario designed with Golden Heroes, the role playing of superheroes. You cannot play this adventure without the rules for that game. Well, you could take the plot and run it with your with the superhero role playing game of your choice, but uh, back in 19, 1985, uh, there weren't that many options available. You would have had um, TSR's Marvel Superheroes role playing game. And uh, I'm trying to think what else. Um, Champions, of course. And you still would have been able to get hold of a copy of Super 2044, but I really wouldn't have used that for um, a serious role, a superhero role playing game. Um, basically, because the rules themselves are not, <laughs> it's not really geared to a great super role playing game. Um, even though it's the first. Okay, anyway, so. You've got a nice little bit of a comic strip on the back, a nice way of introducing it, and we're really sticking to the genre. Dateline 1985, a strange meteor plunging to Earth signals the end for a legendary team of superheroes. 20 years on, their secrets are in danger of being unearthed by the arch-villain. Can the golden heroes foil his plans? Will they inherit the legacy of eagles? Um, and still, the only known survivor of the team won't talk. So there we go. Um... So, yeah, uh, about this scenario pack, uh, this is actually written by Simon Burley, the co-creator of um, uh, Golden Heroes. Um, at, uh, this exciting game scenario is specially prepared for beginners to Golden Heroes, the role-playing game of superheroes. It is designed to establish your players as a superhero team and possibly provide them with their own secret headquarters. The pack contains the fully illustrated adventure booklet with complete plot details, 27 full-colour stand-up couple characters, and of all the NPCs, eight full colour card files detailing all the villains and non-player non superheroes and two A2 double-sided colour play sheets of all the battle areas to the same 25 millimeter scale as the cardboard characters. So there you have it. So, no, cat off I think. Settle down. Sorry, I got visited by the cat who is not ours. So we open up, open inside. Uh, I mean, basically this look, it is clearly you open this and, uh, and if you know what your books looked like from Games Workshop in 1985, then very much this is in the style. Um, you know, it, it wasn't that much different for the Call of Cthulhu titles that Games Workshop published. So we've got, uh, we open up, we've got the descriptions, basically background. So we have aims and objectives, subplots, and how to use this uh, this package. Um, all the really decent artwork. Um, and they've got a cast list as well so it's quite text heavy i would say there's a lot to be going on with and basically you've got good descriptions of all the non-player characters here so you know um to go with the uh the, the stats that will come in a bit and then we've got the plot line <laughs> um turn possible outcomes Running over, just trying to flip through um, and you know, question captives. I've got you know, things to learn as you go through the adventure. Um, 
and encounter dice, which is essentially dice. I can't remember what dice stands for, but it's the equivalent of shield in the Golden Hero setting. And in the middle, I'm going to show you these now. So what we've got is, um, I'll show you the maps. We've got the, um, the here we've got all the character cards for the NPCs. So to show you a bit more detail, so you can just get a good idea of what they look like. Right, so there, there's the two characters on the, on, the, on the front cover. I'll show you those again. It's a fantastic cover. I keep going back to that. It's a really great cover. Um, and then you've got um, notes for them on the back. And then you've got all the cardboard cutouts for the, for the standees. And then you've got these maps. So, um, like opening. Internal area, it's sort of like a base um, or platform. Um, okay, there it goes. Then we've got a submarine, you know, blah blah blah. A secret plan is blah blah blah. Submarine off the coast. Um, to points, no, points get you get points if you know where that's from. Um, and then this out uh, Typical street scene, uh, buildings. Uh, basically a junction and a bit of an alley there and then on the back we've actually got sort of like a map of the base itself which is the Eagles base so you get those now these are done it's a 25 mil and they're done in the style of the games workshop uh, floor pan series which is what they were sort of like one of the things that they were uh, publishing at that time and then continuing on um, uh, more of the more of the ongoing plots what's going on and then uh, we're facing the bad guys so we're getting down to the did they new on to the climax of the scenario um, okay then we've got uh, essentially, essentially we've got a little bit of a map of the Eagles nest the legacy of Eagles it's actually the, essentially uh, the plot line revolving around their um, basically the team um, basic team's destruction uh, and break up and also the legacy is uh, their undersea base um, and we also have details here for the ratings like pra backing practice publicity appropriate contacts success security and so on which are the campaign ratings in the game and they control uh, or measure um, essentially uh, a, a hero's role in the real world and then um, next issue we have sort of like here's some ideas for sequels and uh, for the game master here's the guide how to set things up uh, for the basic the big grandstand battles so in effect this sort of gets used twice and then we have the protagonists um, given full details at the back here um, so frost storm a character controls he's got a, a bit um, like an ice gun um, and Micron can turn himself smaller uh, Python is a martial artist uh, who's good at grappling um, Quagmire it's sort of like a swamp thing like character but basically uh, can squeeze into small areas um, Overlord is your big bad with his big power suit and then we've got Worm, who can also squeeze into small spaces um, just because he's flexible, and the horror. And lastly, we've basically we've got um, additional villains and characters which you, the uh, the, um, the the game master can throw at his his, his player character superheroes if they're doing do, they're doing all right. Um, at, uh, yeah, and then we've got the details of the eagles at the back. So. Um, this is a rather neat um, little package. It's in very nice condition. Um, now the rest of it, it's not mine. I do own a copy somewhere on a shelf. Um, but it, basically, this is giving me a chance to have a look at it again because this is actually going to the states and uh, to my friend Scott, who is the, one of the co-hosts of the Titter Pigs um, podcast. Sorry, excuse me for the interruption. Inter interruption from the cat who is not ours. Um, so, um, and he's settled down now. At, uh, I have a chance to look at this again, and it's a great. I mean, I have played this back in the day. We are talking 1985, 1986, like that. And it's a fun, decent scenario. It's a good setup. Um, it's kind of a classic uh, superhero story, you know, 
starts off with a bank robbery, uh, they investigate, the authorities turn up in the form of dice, they equivalent of a shield and so on, uh, and um, begin to get tied into the events of the Eagles, who were the classic 60s superhero team. So yeah, actually really very good, very nice package. Um, I look forward to giving this a proper review. I will probably do this at some point. Um, in fact, I might do a review of it uh, ready. Um, whilst I've still got it in my hands before it goes over to Chris Scott. In the meantime, I want to thank Scott for passing this to me. And then also thank you very much for watching this unboxing in the nook. If you've enjoyed this, then please do click on the like button down below. And if you've got any comments or feedback, I appreciate you taking the time to post those. And lastly, if you want to be alerted to yet more unboxings in the nook, where you will see me out here um, with a box um, and a book or game which I will unbox and chat about to the best extent of my knowledge for roughly 10 minutes or so, all of course accompanied by a nice hot cup of tea and a cat who is not ours, then please do hit that subscribe button down below. Thanks again for watching, and I'll be back again soon with another unboxing in the nook.